Hello everyone. Today I saw these little, um, they're called valerian, which is a little plant, almost like an herb, and um, it's actually kind of medicinal too, but I saw them and I just thought they were so pretty I wanted to paint them. And I think they're going to be quite easy. Therefore, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to use the technique of wet and wet. So let me start. And by the way, I'm using my Artisto pads. This one's my spring 2024. Um, so that's what I'm using today. You know, I love this. It's really thick and textury and I love it. And then I will be using my My Lang paints. Just cleaned my palette. Um, and I'm going to be using probably some of my pinks, maybe lighten up some pinks. I think that'll be really pretty, maybe with their violets. Um, but as you can see, they just have such a great selection of paints. So good for students because you don't have to mix them. Or if you're a lazy painter like me, I just want to get in here and get going. I don't want to mix these. And they have great color combinations. I love using my browns with my pinks. I think that's so pretty. Um, and I've got my Meaden palette. Um, this isn't a good travel palette. I already packed my travel palette because it's quite heavy, but I love it for my desk because it's a little bit larger. Oops, and you could just hear how loud it was. Um, it's a little bit la uh, larger, and I love the huge mixing spaces, and it's ceramic, so I really like it. And as you can hear, as I'm placing it down on my table, um, it's quite heavy, so it's going to... Oops, sorry about that. Oh, oh my goodness. Um, it's quite heavy, so it stays in place. My gosh, you guys, what is going on? Sorry about that. Okay, <laughs> goodness. Um, I went ahead and I already sprayed my paints to just get them activated. And I'm just gonna add some water in here. Always make sure you have your two um, containers of water. I also, this is the Meaden palette. I also use their Meaden ceramic dish. I love this. For years, I painted with the little plastic cups and things, and I just love this. I, I really like having nice, heavy, um, and these are ceramic. They just feel kind of pretty and luxurious. I don't know. That doesn't make much sense, but I like them. So today I'm going to do wet and wet with these and I'm using a 16 round here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna first go in and this paper's great for wet on wet. Uh, if you're gonna do back like washes where you're pretty much wetting the entire paper, I would tape down your paper with um, some masking tape or uh, whatever type of tape that's removable because Otherwise it might warp a bit, but let's go in. And what I'm gonna do first is just create, I don't know if you've seen Valerian, but it's it's really quite fun. And I'm gonna do one at a time. Oops, I must've had some, I didn't wash that brush off well enough. So I'm gonna go in and just create this little poof with water and now I'll go in and pick up some of that pink. I already have pink in my dish here. So let's just get that in there and then I'm gonna go in and just start laying that in here and it's only gonna go where that water is. I wanted some light ones too. I love these. I love this style of painting too. It's it's really my favorite because I feel like it kind of takes advantage of watercolors and what they can do. So when I lay down water like that and then just tap in my paints, it kind of gives the watercolors like free room to to do whatever they want type of thing, you know? And I, I kind of like that. So I'm gonna let that dry a bit and then I'll go in with a little bit darker pink. I could even go in a tiny bit now. So I've got that, let me make sure of that color. Yeah, that's a pretty color. A lot of times, you know, I, I take these flowers and I kind of add my own colors because I have so many colors that I just love. So I noticed when I saw this Valerian, it kind of, um, you could almost do this with a sponge, by the way, too. I think that would be kind of nice. 
um, it almost felt like um, little poofs or something. So I think this is going to be really fun. You could maybe use some salt in there. That would be really fun. I don't think I have salt here right now. Let me look. I might actually. Hold on one second. I think I do. Look at that. I got some salt. This is my little travel salt. So once that dries a tiny bit, well, let's try it right now. I think that would be really pretty. It'll kind of give us that effect. Let's see what that does. And then meanwhile, I'm going to go into another one over here. And again, I'm just wetting my area. So much fun, you guys. I love wet and wet. And I'm leaving a lot of little white spaces in here. There we go. And these are just like, again, little little poofs, I notice. I don't know what else to call them. Put some pink in there. And now when I lay this in here, it's only going to go where the water is. So it's kind of fun. And it automatically gives you these little white spaces, which are really beautiful. Might have to use my little heat gun to... Um, get that on there. Now I'm going to create a couple. Let me wash and rinse my brush. Tap it off a bit. I'm going to grab my reusable little towel here. And then I'm going to make a couple little small ones maybe coming out. Oh, see that was too much water there. I'm going to dab some of that up. I wanted to make a couple little small ones. And I'm really enjoying this 16 round brush. I've had a lot of fun with it. I remember in college, my teacher always wanted, decades ago, my teacher always was trying to encourage me to paint bigger and paint more and, um, you know, get more uh, broader strokes. And for some reason, I just always avoided that. I don't know why. It, it felt a little too daring, I suppose. So let's go into, let's see, what other colors should we do here? I feel like I want a light pink. So I've got some light pinks up here, but, well, you know what? Actually, let's go into, let's see, what color is that? That's a purple. I don't want a purple. I want more of a red violet. Let's see what that is. Yeah, kind of like what we did up here. And I'm just going to touch in a few places. And again, let the water do its thing. I don't really have to do a whole lot. There we go. And one of the things I've been enjoying about this big, huge brush is I actually I can pretty, I can get some really good little points in it too. Now this one, I want to add a little bit more detail in this area. And actually, let's do this. Let's um, take a heat gun and just dry it a bit. Because I put that salt on there. It's just a little heat gun. You can use a blow dryer too. I think this was maybe $15. So let me just dry side it. I don't want to dry it too much because... I'm going to add some stems in, and I want them to kind of bleed into the flower. I always love that look. But look how pretty these colors are. Before it gets too dry, I'm going to take, not that one, I'm going to take my, hold on one second, pull my little cover off. I hadn't used this yet, so... And this is my eight round. And I'm gonna go in with some green and draw in some little stems and branches while this is wet. Because I want it to really spread in there. So I've got a mixture here of maybe 50-50, 50 paint, 50, 50 water like that. And I'm going to draw also some little
branches kind of spreading out. What I always like to do, and I say this a lot in the classes that I teach, I try to get just things that are recognizable about plants. And for the valerian, I felt like what was recognizable is it had a lot of tiny little branches and they kind of spread out like that. And they had all these little tiny pieces coming out. So I, that's what I'm going for here so that it looks recognizable to maybe somebody that might know exactly what valerian looks like. To me, this is what I envision. Grab a little bit more of that paint. And I've got quite a bit of paint in there now. So I want to, if you need to, just tap off or dab on your little paper towel. There we go. So I think that's perfect. Look how pretty that is. I love these colors. I'm just in love with these Mylan colors. It's totally my go-to palette. Um, let's see, maybe we can make another little poofy over here. And then I think the leaves, I'm just going to do kind of a standard leaf. So point, press, like that. Um, let's see, point, press, and then point again. Look how fun. My gosh, you guys, I know, I say, I know I say this every, every time, but I just, there's just something really wonderful about watercolors that just gets me all the time and makes me so happy. So look at that, look at the beautiful colors there. So just little tiny flowy type leaves I think is just fine. And you can use the side of your brush, so point press with the side of your brush, and you'll get a thicker leaf there. All right, let's do one, a couple more little poofies over here. So let's see, oh, I used this brush. Okay. And I'm just going in with the tip here and going to do a few more over here. So just dabbing around with the tip of my brush. Maybe another one here. And then I'll go into these and add that pink. Pick up a little bit of that pink. I'm just loading the side of my brush and then I go to my palette and put it in there and then tap in and it'll go right where the water is. Almost paints itself. When I say that, I truly mean that. A lot of times, if you just give watercolors the chance, they will kind of do all the work. I couldn't paint sometimes some of the detail I get with watercolors. There we go, so fun. And I think that's a good little composition. So I kind of feel like we've got a grouping of one here. So one, two, three. And I'm not sure, I, I think the salt kind of worked. Uh, one thing about salt is if you put it in when it's too wet, it's not gonna work as well. Let's see, we might be able to add a little bit of salt in here and it might work. So you kind of, you know, I had quite a bit of water in those, but what I'm really liking is look at these beautiful effects the watercolor is doing all on its own. Some dark over here, light over here. It gives you this beautiful, um, oh, look at that. I even did that. Uh, it gives you this beautiful um, effect of the shadows over here. Now let's go in with your eight brush. And go in and you put more of that green. I added, by the way, a little bit of the tree green or yellow green here. I really like that in the Mylang as well. 
I think it's really a pretty green. It's very vibrant and um, I probably wouldn't use it in the fall as much, but I think for spring right now, it's really pretty. And then I'll just go in and the Valerian I saw almost had these V type shapes that came out. And then again, what's recognizable to me is all the little branches inside, but they all go back to the one main branch. So when I paint, I try to just find recognizable things that you say, oh, you know what, that's Valerian, if you would have known that. Um, so I think I'm kind of liking that. We could go in and add Oop, didn't mean to add green to that. Let me rinse my brush here. There we go. And let's pick up some of that darker pink, more of a purpley pink. And I'm gonna go in and just touch in, keeping in mind that a lot of my purples were on this side of the flower. So I want to kind of stick with that. There we go. Just as this dries, going in and adding in a little bit more. There we go. Yeah, I like that. I think I need to fill up some of my, um, just tapping in with the tip of my brush, uh, use some of my my Lang tubes to, to fill up my Mylang palette. And I feel like I wanna darken in underneath this one. So I'm gonna grab some of that darker purple and just add in some darker colors underneath here, like that. Just because, like with trees, there's going to be darker colors underneath. And the lighter colors will be on top. So look how pretty. This would be such a beautiful little card. And I, I um, always, you know, if you're a good calligrapher, lucky you, because I am not. You can go in. I use... Um, stamps and stencils if I need to do something like that. I could probably even in here, if I have enough water, I could even go in and just like that. Yeah, that's, I kind of like that. That gives me that look I was looking for. Look how pretty. Oh my gosh, you guys. There we go. So pretty, oh, just love these watercolors. And maybe I wanna add a few lighter colored leaves in the background. So I'm gonna use the value that's about, oh, 80% water, 20% pigment. And we'll go in and just do a couple little leaves here. Point, press, point, press making them different sizes, so point press, little buds. And look at that beautiful depth. So pretty. You know what we could do too, is I've got my MAB metallics here. I set those out because I forgot about them. And let's see, let me test that out on a swatch one sec here. Find a little swatch sheet. Here we go. Okay, talk about you know doing something and you don't like. I was playing with brush out. How awful is that? Ooh. And I rarely say that about watercolors because I like all watercolors, but ugh. um, okay, so what was I doing here? Oh, the metallics. I wanted to see which one I might want. That one's a little bit gray, so I don't think I want that one. Let's see what this is. That's pretty. These are actually, um, a lot of times, this this is the Holograph series, and I think it works really well if you 
mix it with your paint beforehand. I've had a little bit, um, kind of like that a little bit better, but I do like that one. Let's see, which one was that? That was this one here. Yeah, I like that. Because it's kind of sheer, but yet it's got um, a lot of shimmer to it. So I'm going to really wet my brush. And then I'm going to go in and just... Oh my gosh, you guys. Okay. I don't think I've ever splattered with metallics before. Oh my gosh. You guys got to try this. This is wonderful. I really like this. It's just capturing the light. I'll hold it up in a second and show you. Oh my gosh, you guys, you got to try that. Try sparkling. I mean, uh, kind of sprinkling. Oh my gosh, I could get totally carried away with this. I got to stop. That is really, really pretty. So that is those MAB Metallics. I've got tons of hers because I just keep rebuying them. I love them so much. <gasps> Wait, till, I hope you guys can see this. It's got just the subtle little like, oh my gosh, I think I see a sparkle. Look how pretty, you guys. Oh my gosh, okay. So there you go. That is my Valerian. So I kind of started with a little bit more water and then I added in my light pinks and then I added in my dark pinks and I left a lot of white space because that's always interesting. I used, um, you know, lighter shades to get some in the background and the foreground and look how beautiful. I hope you guys give this a try. Oh my gosh, they even match my brushes. Look at that. Of course. Of course they do. All right, I will post um, any supplies. And if you guys have any questions, um, just let me know. And thank you so much for being here with me. You guys always make me smile every morning when I wake up to your uh, just funnest comments and shares and tips. And just you guys are really fun. All right, everybody. And a couple of you, by the way, have asked, you want to be notified? I think you can go, well, if you subscribe, I believe you're notified when I do a video. Um, you know, I'm still not quite sure about that, but I think so. And then if you go into settings, there's somewhere in there where you can say you wanna be notified. Um, so I hope that helps some of you that have said you miss a lot of my tutorials. And you can always just come back to my homepage and look for me there. Oh my gosh, that metallic is kind of spreading. You guys, this would be such a pretty card. I think. Okay. Anyway. All right, guys. I hope you give it a try. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.